Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons Channel and in this video I will show you how to design such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used both as a hobby and commercially. We can freely use this system, even for commercial work. Let's go to FreeCAD and start a new project in the Part Design Workbench. We will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Select Create Sketch and choose the XY plane as the sketch plane. First, make sure that automatic constraints and automatic removal of redundant constraints are enabled. Now select Draw Circle and we will place the center of the circle at the origin of the coordinate system. To do this, hover the cursor over the origin point. When this point is highlighted, click the left mouse button and define the second point of the circle approximately here. Thanks to having automatic constraints enabled, we have automatically constrained the center of the circle with the origin of the coordinate system. Right click to cancel the circle drawing command and select the diameter dimension command. Add a diameter dimension of 80 millimeters. Close the sketch and now, based on this sketch, we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. This is the pad operation. Select this operation. And here, as the extrusion length, enter 40 millimeters. Click OK to confirm. Thus, based on the extrusion of the sketch, we have created a solid. Now we will create another sketch. Select Create Sketch. As the sketch plane, choose the XZ plane. I would like to use the geometry of this solid. I would like to use this side edge of the solid. However, if I want to create some geometry, after selecting the Draw Circle command, as you can see, no geometry of the solid is highlighted. I can use the x-axis, I can use the y-axis, but I cannot use any geometry lying on the solid. For this purpose, we need to create reference geometry that will be linked to this solid. To do this, we use the Create External Geometry command. Select this command, and now select, for example, this line. Just click here with the left mouse button so that this line appears. Right click to cancel this command. And now this line is reference geometry for this solid. We can use this line in this sketch. This line will be an auxiliary line that is linked to this solid. Now select Draw Circle and draw a circle whose center will lie on this line, meaning hover over this line. When the line is highlighted, click the left mouse button to place the center of the circle on this line. Now let's proceed to dimension the diameter of the circle. Select Diameter Dimension, click on the circle and enter a diameter of 15 millimeters. As you can see, the circle is partially obscured by the solid, which is because the sketch plane is in the middle of this solid. Part of this solid obscures view. To make sketching a little easier, we can switch to Section View. From the Sketch menu, select View Section, and now the entire sketch is visible. Next, select Add Vertical Dimension, and select this point and this point, and enter 12 millimeters as the distance. Now select Draw Polyline and draw the polyline so that the first point of the polyline is constrained to the circle. This means hover the cursor over the circle and click the left mouse button to place the first point of the polyline on the circle. Place the second point of the polyline approximately on this line. At this point we cannot place this point exactly on that line, but click approximately here. Connect the next point to this point. This means when this point is highlighted, click the left mouse button and place the last point of the polyline on this line approximately here. Click the left mouse button and now right click to finish drawing the polyline. Right click to cancel the polyline drawing command. And now we will add constraints so that this geometry is fully constrained. Regarding this point, by grabbing this point, I can move it around the circle. Place this point approximately in this place. Select this point, select the center of the circle, and choose this constraint to make these points lie in one horizontal line. Next, select this line and choose this constraint to specify that this line is horizontal. 
Then select this point and the circle and choose the constraint to place this point on the circle. Now select Trim Geometry and remove this part of the circle and this part of the circle and this way we have created such a sketch. Now, based on this sketch we will remove material by rotating the sketch around the indicated axis. Close the sketch and select the Groove operation. As you can see this operation was added by default as the axis of rotation around which we will remove material by rotating the sketch. The vertical axis of the sketch was selected but here we have other options to choose from. Select Select Reference here and point to this line of the sketch. This line may be a bit invisible, but when you zoom in or out, this line will appear, and we can click on this line. The operation will be performed like this. We click OK, and now, holding the control key, select these edges, and add a fillet with a radius of 2 mm. Click OK, and now, I would like to have 10 such elements on this solid. To do this, holding the control key, I select the groove operation and the fillet operation in the operation tree. I select the polar pattern operation here. We will add a circular array of these two operations. As the axis of the circular array, select the base Z axis to repeat this operation around the axis. Enter 10 as the number of copies. Wait a moment for the view to update and click OK. This way, we created something like this. Now select this face, choose the fillet command, and add a radius of 2 mm. Click OK, and this way, we have created such a solid. As you can see, using a few basic and simple operations and combining these operations, we can create various interesting models. We will finish here. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.